Here's what's making news now around Indiana. It's one of central Indiana's hidden gems. This fourth generation family owned farm has everything from you pick apples to pumpkins and a lot more. Around Indiana reporter Mary Rachel Redmond made the trip to Greenfield to check out Tuttle Orchards. Ginger gold. Looks like they're really nice, really nice. What do I think of when I hear apple? It brings up memories of family. It's a nostalgic word, I guess, for me. For nearly a century, this Hancock County orchard has been harvesting apples for Hoosiers. These are the cider apples. My grandfather, Roy Tuttle, is the one who founded the orchard, planting the first trees in 1928. The business has grown in many, many ways. In his day, this was a wholesale business. The apples that they harvested from the trees were put into vinegar. Grocery stores would buy direct from the farmer back in that era. By the early 60s, increased demand for Tuttle's apples saw the family open its first small store on the property. We began to transition into more of a retail outlet and they would buy much larger quantities because they took it home and then they cooked it and made their own product. Whereas today when you come out the orchard, people buy very small quantities because we already have the apple butter the apple pie, all that's already made for the customer. In 1982, Mike joined his brother Tom as co-owner of the family business. Under their leadership, the orchard has expanded to include 34 acres of apples with 24 different varieties, not to mention a much larger version of that original farm store, chock full of hand-picked apples, ciders, jams, and butters. We have really seen in the last few years that a lot of people want to actually come and experience food right here on the farm. And perhaps my favorite, the sweet shop. We have all the fall treats like pumpkin donuts, apple donuts, caramel apples of all kinds. I know they say an apple a day, so this counts as like, what, four, five apples? Oh yeah. We're known for our apple cider slushies. Speaking of apple cider, Tuttle Orchard's family recipe for this fall favorite has year in and year out been voted one of the best in the country. Our apple cider has won um, best in the nation one year and second in the nation several times. We're using our own homegrown apples and the secret to making really good apple cider is to blend many more than just one or two varieties. So we put three or four in the batch so that it has a really good taste. Tuttle's is a lot more than just apples. Try your hand at this four acre corn maze or for the little ones, a pit stop at Tractor Town. And did someone say pumpkin? We have a pumpkin patch that opens on the 24th of September. A lot of people come here for their pumpkin activities. We reach out to a lot of kids. That area is really important to me because of the education, teaching the next generation about agriculture. Before COVID, we had right at 20,000 coming out just for school tours. Now Roni is teaching his own adult children how to run the family business. It's neat to see how your kids have a vision as well and they want things to go a certain way because they're probably more in tune with the kids of today and the younger generation of today than we are. Just sit it up there and you know, that's what we're going through now is is going to the next generation. Mary Rachel Redman inside Indiana Business. Tuttle Orchards is open six days a week but closed on Sundays. And for those of you already gearing up for Halloween, pumpkin picking just around the corner starting on the 24th.